Hey everybody, GeoArm Security here, and today I'm going to show you how to program a 5816 wireless window or door contact into the Honeywell Lynx Touch L5210 Home and Business Security System. The first thing that we're going to do is we need to remove the contact from its package. So we're going to remove the magnet, the mounting screws, and the spacer. Place those to the side. Keep our magnet out. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the battery and the actual contact here. Make sure to keep your manufacturer box in resellable condition in case you need to return it for any reason. Place it to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and open the contact up and insert the battery so we can begin programming it. The battery it uses is a CR123A 3 volt ion lithium battery. You want to locate the positive end and the negative end. Do the same for the contact. Locate the positive and the negative and go ahead and insert accordingly like so. You can then take the cover and put that back on and now you want to make sure you see the arrow pointing down and locate the two little notches here which is where the reed switch is located on this contact and you want to make sure the magnet always stays about a half inch apart or about a pencil length in between that's where the reed switch will be able to acknowledge the magnet now for programming we're going to go ahead and select security more tools default installer code is 4112 gets us into programming now we're going to go ahead and select program zones zone one is is not going to be used on this panel unless you're hardwiring one zone to it we will have a video on that later for now the first uh, accessible wireless zone is zone two so we want to select that make sure it's highlighted then select edit first thing is from reading from the top left is serial number so select that and in order to learn this sensor and it's very simple you're going to be removing this magnet and replacing it in increments of three so the first one is for the panel to acknowledge the second one is for it to learn the serial number and to verify the loop number loop two is correct if you are programming this as a wireless uh, with the wireless read switch uh, we will have another video because this contact is capable of hardwiring a contact into the contact and using it so for an example a 958 overhead garage door contact which is hardwired would get hardwired into the external contact of here and instead you'd use loop one but for today we're just using the wireless read switch so finally remove one more time and replace now we're getting ready to to input the correct data on how you want to have this zone programmed so loop two is correct for now zone descriptions you can change if you wanted to such as back front master things of that nature for now uh, since it's the first zone we're gonna start with the front door to keep things simple zone two would be master you know zone one would be master zone two could be bedroom and then the last thing that it'll enunciate is the device type um, I'll get into more depth uh, in the future video now, response type this is basically where how you want your sensor to respond so by selecting it you can see the different options that you have here right now for this particular video we're going to be doing an entry exit delay by default which is 30 seconds meaning it gives you 30 seconds to enter the home and disarm the alarm before the alarm sounds we'll also have another video on entry exit 2 for now we're going to keep it as entry exit 1 and for whatever reason you wanted to manipulate entry exit 1 I will place a video which should populate right now where it'll show you how to change the different variations of the amount of time uh, in order to disarm the system before the alarm goes off for now by default it is 30 seconds alarm report yes that means it will report to our central monitoring station chime the Lynx touch panels have a cool feature where you can adjust uh, the chime type so I'll go through them very quickly for you and I'll leave it on doorbell since we're doing the front door
Oops. So there is quite a few. There is a good selection. We'll leave it on doorbell one for now. And of course you want this to be a supervised contact so that the panel is always looking for this contact. So go ahead and select save. Now you can back out of programming. Allow installer to re-enter programming. Select yes. And then you can exit to the home screen. Now you can see when I arm the system up, I'll arm away for now. Enter our default master code to arm the system. Armed away. Exit now. So now the panel will go through its arming process. Armed stay. Now that the panel is armed up, I'm going to remove the magnet from the contact to show you it'll give you 30 seconds to disarm the alarm before the alarm sounds. Disarm system now. You see, this is not an alarm. This is just telling you you need to disarm within 30 seconds. So let's say the door is closed. We would then disarm our system. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Time. And, and that's how you install the 5816 wireless window or door contact into the Honeywell Lynx Touch L5210 all-in-one home and business security system with an entry exit delay 1. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Also view our blog at DIYsecurityblog.com. And if you need to reach us by phone, our number is 1-877-443-6276.